What's up guys, Anthony here at DPR. This week we have a very cool clutch to show you. It's all about GHI cinnamon and red stripe. If you're ready, let's jump right into that. All right, so it's Saturday here. You're gonna see that on Thursday, but uh, we basically most of the time film our videos on the weekend. That's where we have most time. Um, this morning we just went to a food market, grabbed some food, went back home, cook it, made some amazing sandwiches. Um, and we went to Home Depot actually to go look for some paint and get a few things for the new room downstairs. And we have a bunch of new color palette for a couple of cool projects that we have in the new room, but that's for later guys. You'll see that in due time. Um, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to start working in the room. We're emptying it still right now. We're going to patch everything, make sure that everything is ready to be worked on. And we're going to paint the ceilings probably this week. It's going to be all black. It's going to be very nice. Um, we'll show you all of this process uh, along with us. Also, since we, you know, it's Saturday, we're having fun, we go check some snakes, film a video. We also brought a little beer. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a huge microbrew uh, fan. This is a double goose. This is a red peach. I'm just trying to say that real quick. Red peach, double goose, uh, sour. It's called, it's called Why So Salty. I uh, really like the logo. It's pretty cool. And the best way to drink anything when it comes like to water or any drink, uh, we're gonna drink it in a 16 ounce cup. It's all the same. Uh, I pretty much drink my water in this all the time. So very nice beer. Let me go in. Oh, that's delicious. All right, pour that in, give the can to the girlfriend. She can drink it on her own. And we're gonna look at some snakes. All right, so that is the mother of the clutch. Um, this is a GHI pinstripe. She was absolutely amazingly beautiful when she was in her blow up, um, right before giving her eggs. She's back on foot already. She's really in good shape. Um, and originally I paired her to a Cypress Spotnose Fire Clown, the one we, you guys saw last week in our um, YouTube video. But I started the season with the Cinnamon Red Stripe Yellow Belly Clown. And it's not a bad thing, but that is the male that did sire the clutch. Did not have a split clutch on this one. It's really that red stripe clown male that did sire it. Um, so we're gonna check those babies. They are pretty interesting and they're really hard to ID. So I'm gonna walk you through what I see and why I think that some are what they are basically. So the very first baby is a little pinstripe female. Nothing too fancy, but it's just a very nice example. Um, and then when you add GHI, you know, it's exactly the same thing as mom, but this is basically a same replica of mom. This is GHI pinstripe. Um, I really like what GHI does to pinstripe. Pinstripe is an extremely strong and powerful gene. And the fact that GHI is really a gene that you see through pinstripe is something that is um, definitely interesting when you start piling some new mutation and combination on top of that. Um, especially the clown version of that is really, really neat. Now this one gives me a little bit of a headache because I'm fairly confident that this is a GHI red stripe. I've hatched a bunch of GHI in the past and he definitely doesn't look like any other GHI I have hatched. He is extremely bright. His allen heads are really, really colorful. Um, uh, if it is just a GHI, it is one pristine and very, very pretty example. Uh, but you know, I kind of have a feeling this male is also red stripe. Uh, it's hard to tell. I can't be sure 100%. So here's one where the red stripe part is definitely obvious. This is cinnamon red stripe yellow belly heck clown. We've hatched a bunch of these combinations in the past. So we have a really, really good understanding of what they are and what they look like. But I really have a feeling that this might just be the nicest looking uh, cinnamon red stripe yellow belly we have ever hatched. All the reds that are coming on the side, you know, the blushing here, uh, in between the Allen has is extremely peachy. It is a very, very nice blushing. The stripe on the back is really bright. It's overall a really nice animal. And here's one with a little bit more size to it. This is a, um, a sibling from actually um, the same father. This is a snake from last year. Uh, and they age really nicely. You know, the red stripe really brings that intense coloration on top with yellow belly. It's, it mixes like extremely nicely. And when you look at the Allen heads on this one, these are really narrow. They're really close together. And this one, there's a lot more blushing on the um, general sides of the animal. So I have a feeling that this snake might just age even better than this one, even though this female is really, really nice. 
That's one we kept and held back from last year. This one's gonna be for sale um, because we can keep them all. But honestly, I'm really a fan of this platform. Here's another really interesting snake. Uh, this is basically the pinstripe version of the snake I just showed you. This is a pinstripe, cinnamon, red stripe, yellow belly, 100% heck clown. That's a little girl. Um, although pinstripe is a very overpower overpowering gene, I'm really a fan of that light dorsal with those little hues of red that red stripe brings and especially that yellow belly that brings everything back together. But that really bright dorsal is something that I absolutely love on that tiny little baby. And here's my absolute favorite baby of the clutch. That is a GHI cinnamon yellow belly. Um, I have some doubts she might be red stripe as well. Um, it's extremely hard to tell, honestly. I The best part about, you know, having a large clutch is, is that you can have a good idea of what the other babies look like and you can compare them. Unfortunately, I don't have um, anything similar to this one. I've hatched GHI cinnamon yellow bellies in the past and they were nowhere near as um, reddish on the sides. They had a little less pattern, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not too sure. Uh, she still is a phenomenal looking snake. I'm really excited to have her. It's a really difficult uh, animal to ID there when it comes to is it red stripe or not. Um, let me guys know what you think, honestly. I'm I'm a fan of that look. Not sure if I'm gonna keep that snake, but again, this is really a stop show. Last one is a real mystery for me. I have labeled him uh, as a GHI cinnamon red stripe pinstripe. Um, and he's also possible yellow belly. He could be everything. He could be like all the genes. But it is extremely hard to tell. Um, I kind of, I will kind of walk you through what I see in this animal. There is definitely pinstripe on that snake. It brings that, you know, solid stripe on the animal. Um, GHI and cinnamon also, because GHI pinstripe doesn't bring you such darkness on the animal and wouldn't stripe that whole thing. We saw that previously. Then why I think there's red stripe, obviously there's a lot of red hues on that snake. And mostly when you go on the sides, you have a little bit of like, faded reverse patterns like a, a negative you know the negative color the negative sides this is definitely something interesting i don't know if this is going to last when this animal is going to age uh it's probably going to amplify in the next like four or five hundred grams that this male is going to take um, i don't know if it's going to stay as an adult but this is a snake that would be definitely a very interesting um animal to watch grow that's all right, so I hope you enjoy that little beautiful clutch. Sometimes when you have something like this, that it's kind of difficult to have a good understanding of what they are, basically. Um, what I like to do is I like to put the possibilities out there for the customer. Um, you know, if you go through my morph market, you'll see a lot of animals that are possible something. Um, just because we all do our ident identification with theoretical ID, but you know, it's, it's when it comes to so many genes and so many genes sometimes that will kind of stack on each other and kind of buries each each another one it's difficult to be sure and certain of what genes they are so that's why i like to put um some possibilities out there and i highly suggest that other breeders do that uh, sometimes i see an animal that's like five genes and like oh yeah for sure that's that but honestly like it's really difficult sometimes to see it and i like that transparency of the breeder of being like you know what i'm not entirely sure so that's basically my approach when it comes to a clutch that is really difficult to id but yeah with that in mind you know you can always self-doubt everything that you see online you know when some someone will post an animal if you are not sure you can ask somebody else or if you're like you know what that animal definitely has something else um, on top some reader can make mistakes. I will make mistakes sometimes and that's totally possible. So that's also a thing to keep in mind. And uh, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's gonna be cool in the next few weeks. We have a possible freeway heck clown combo clutch that's hatching in a week. So hopefully we can make some worst case scenario. We're gonna make some ivories heck clown combinations. That should be interesting as well. And I will wish you a good cheers and we'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed this video. Oh,